Oh, well, okay. It's on. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, work on uh, some uh, some breeding stuff. And then I think what we're going to do after that is we're either going to take uh, out and start training up or leveling up our, our initial army, or we're going to go get a Desmos. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> So we'll have to see uh, what's going on. But uh, let's see. First thing to get you updated on is let's start with the Quetzals. Uh, so I have a Quetz here that had a, a mutation, which gave it a really cool looking kind of. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, a really kind of cool blend of blue and turquoise color on the neck. Uh, but the point went into one of the hidden aspects, not the important ones, unfortunately. Uh, nevertheless, this quet still is a base mother. It's got all the best stats of the original, um, uh, the original quetzals that we had, and this mother one and Q two still don't have the full stats. So this is the one that we have with the first uh, full stats. And then um, I have also in the incubator. Let's take a look and see what's in here. So in the incubator, I've got. A mother with the full stats, and I've got a mother with a mutation. And that mutation is also in a hidden stat. It's not in the four that we care about, you know, health, stamina, weight, and melee. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what color is. But both of these females, um, like the female out here, are... Our base females. They got all of the best stats again, like I said, of the originals. Uh, but we're still looking for a base male because Q2 does is he's short on one of the one or two of the stats. I don't remember. I have to look at my spreadsheet. Mother one is also not a base, um, so sh I'm so I'll pull her out of the breeding mix uh, when those two are are ready. In fact, I should probably pull her out right now. Come to think of it, why don't we do that? We could still keep breeding her. Well, actually, what are hers? No, I can't look there. If we wanted to, but... I mean, I'm not breeding the Quetzals for for army purposes. Uh, and at some point, it is my tentative plan anyways, to go tame a really high-level wild Quetz, because, you know, these were low. And if we can get a high-level wild Quetz, we can eventually breed its better stats. Uh, into the breeding line, um, but that's just not a priority for me right now, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the two Quetzals over here, uh, we're probably going to send to Quetzal Heaven um, here as soon as I get this next batch out. Okay, so anyway, let's see. For the Rexes, we have two um, base mothers, so these mothers have all of the best stats of the original Rexes. Uh, and I have a base mother here and a base father. Okay, so all of these Rexes over here, we're going to um, we're going to take them out, level them up, and they're going to be the part of our initial army, and we'll just see how they do. Um, but they're not going to be like our our primo army. But rather than you know kill them, I figured well let's just let's just use them and we'll see how they do. You know um, maybe we'll go fight the B boss or something with them. Um, and then also, we have a mutation here with this little Rex. Uh, this is a father, and he has a health mutation. Um, and you can see that he's got some a, a, a different colored crest here, too, like kind of an orange colored crest, which is kind of neat. Um, and so what we'll do, and especially because he's a father, because that's where you want really want the mutations, uh, the, the father will become the new base father as soon as he grows up. And then this father will just move over into our army. Um, so he he's basically going to be our, our new uh, breeder daddy for now once he grows up. Uh, so that's cool because now we have three base mothers and one health mutated uh, male father for the Rex army, which is really good. Uh, as you can see, we've got a shit ton of Therizinos over here. Basically, everybody from Mother 2B all the way over, we're going to throw into the initial army. There, I'm no longer using them for breeding. And then we have 
Um, uh, looks like we have three base mothers and a base father here. And we have uh, two more base mothers there. And then this guy, oh, that's just a soldier. This guy is a, a father with a mutation. Um, and he also has, uh, well, he has a melee mutation. So when he grows up, he will be, he'll take the place of this base father and become the new a breeder with a melee mutation. Um, and he has some kind of cool looking colors too with his, his mutation there. Um, and then of course, just like with the Rexes, we'll take this father and move him into the army too. Okay, I also have begun breeding Moz Chops for the purpose of getting ourselves a, 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 a perfect tame um, Desmodus. That, that's really the main reason. So I'm, I'm not breeding these really for any other reason, although they're good dinos to have. Um, and so we're basically just getting a bunch of these. We're pumping health into them. And then we will take them and use them to help get um, hopefully a max level perfect tame Desmodus, or at least a very high level one, because I still haven't replaced my Desmodus from, um, you know, the one that we last uh, lost in the swamp cave. So all I'm doing on these guys is pumping health. I don't care about anything else. We just want them to be as high health as possible, uh, because then what happens is the Desmodus attacks them, and while it's doing that, the taming effectiveness goes up. It's kind of a weird way they did it, but that's the way that they did it. Um, so yeah, uh, this Moses here was a was a perfect 150 in the wild, and I think I think Father One also was a perfect 150, but our first female, which is Chapita here, um, she was not. But she was the highest. I think she was maybe 90, if I remember right. She was the highest female I could find at the time. So we're just breeding, you know, using her to as to start until we get all the good stats bred onto the new babies. But again, I'm not planning on breeding like hundreds of these either. We're just breeding enough to to use for the for the for the the Desmodus. Um, okay, so I get you caught up on, with all of that stuff there. Now uh, in here I have, uh, or rather in here. I have a bunch more eggs, that's just a normal egg there, that we need to take a look at. Oh, the other thing too that I'll tell you is um, I installed the Super Spyglass, I think it is. It's, it's, not, the, it's not the Spyglass that lets you see through walls and shit. It's, um, okay, yeah, it's Spyglass version 2 by Anbu on the steam workshop um and and unlike the awesome spyglass that can you know you can see through walls and do all kinds of other magic stuff with it um this one is a little more toned down and the only real reason i got it is because as you can see when i look at a critter it, it gives me um you know uh, stat information and i don't even have to be looking through the spyglass the other cool thing about it is you can you can zoom in with it and it doesn't uh, it doesn't put the, you know, the, the thing around the HUD, uh, making it hard for you to find stuff. So, um, yeah, but the main reason I got it, of course, is so we can, you know, look at stats and levels. Um, we can see both the actual values and the level numbers at the same time, plus health, torpor, that kind of thing. All right. So anyway, <coughs> let's, um, did I already grab those eggs out of here? Oh, I did. Okay. So let's start with... Our, um, we got some Moz Chops eggs here. We'll look at those first. Um, so we'll throw the first one in, and that is a, that's only a 21 health. And it's also a low stamina. Yeah, this is, this is actually a really bad one. Let's, um, let's hatch that for a second. want to look at the actual values oh yeah this is bad that's really bad health um stamina is not that good not that i really care about stamina so much but i mean if we're gonna breed them we might as well get all the best stats that we that we do want bad uh and bad melee and bad weight yeah this was a, this was terrible 
Okay, so I just I wasn't I just wanted to make sure that I was actually you know pay, reading the numbers correctly because it seemed excessively bad. <laughs> okay, let's try the next one. Uh, next moss chops egg. Okay, so this one is let's see 21, 22, 23, and 26. Yeah, it's it's not very good either. Especially on the health, because the health is the one that that matters the most. Oh yeah, see this one's much better. Okay, so this one's a 31, 22, 41, 20. So it's it's health, stamina, and weight are good are the best we have but its damage is a little little bit lower but i'm going to keep it anyways because again uh we we only really care about the health let's take a look next at our therizinosaurs uh, we're starting to get quite a few of these oh man we got a ton of eggs actually no let's look at the rexes next then so we have four rexes all right so we'll pop the first rex in oh man you're all ready to to hatch. Okay, let's hatch you right now. I'm going to have you follow me on lowest, and let's just pull him out of the way, and we'll bring him over here into the pen. All right, so we put this uh, Rex egg in here. Um, there is a mutation. This is a female. There's a mutation on her. Uh, what is it? It's not health. It's not stamina. It's weight. Okay. Weight in 39. Okay, so this is going to be, we're going to call her Mother Base, or no, not Mother Base, Mother M hyphen W. Meaning a mutation, a weight mutation, mutation weight. And we will, um, you know, I don't, I, I don't think I'm going to worry about mutations on females because I just don't think I'm going to take it that far in, in this playthrough. So I think we're going to probably take any mutations that, that we get. Okay, so so that's good though. So she has all of the good stats plus two more points in weight now uh, with that mutation, and and that's not completely useless. I mean, if you if you are riding on them and they fill up with meat and stuff like that, it's it's actually not a bad for them to have the luxury weight. It's certainly not the one we would have preferred. We want health and damage mostly, but we'll take it anyways. Um, okay, it's cool. So got another mutation. I'm actually seeing quite a few mutations here. Considering we're only supposed to, what, get a 4% chance on that? Uh, that's not bad. Uh, in fact, she's ready to hatch, too. So let's, um, let's go ahead and just hatch her right now. Oh, she's got like an orange... Or no, she has a white crest. Okay, that, that's... I don't think I have any Rexes with a white crest. So we're going to call her Mother MW1. For, again, mutation weight. We will have her follow us. And let's pull her out into the yard. Yeah, if I was if I was t completely min maxing and doing this, you know, perfectly, I wouldn't keep her because you don't want mutations on females. You only want them on males because of the cap. But here again, I don't see myself in this particular series taking it that far. So I think we're just gonna take whatever mutations we can get, uh, whether they're male or female. Okay, let's do the next Rex egg. This one is no mutations. It's a female, and she's just a base level female. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep her. In fact, everything we put in here now is going to at least be base if if they don't have mutations because they're all. I'm not breeding anything less than the base stats. So 36, 35, 34, 39. Those are our numbers. Okay. Oh wait, but you're a you're a male. K 
Okay. Well, we could hatch this one and use it as a soldier. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll throw this third one in. Um, also a male with no mutations. So these two will just be soldier rexes there. And you're uh, ready to hatch also. Uh, because the, the S plus hatchery also incubates the eggs for you. And this one's going to be ready in a second too. So let's hatch you. Alright, so you're going to be mother base four. Okay, let's pull her out of the barn here. Yeah, if you guys know what the hell I'm doing to turn on this green shit, let me know because I don't know why or what I'm doing to turn that on. I'm certainly not doing it on purpose, so. Okay, so let's switch now to Therzina's and see what we have here. Okay, no mutations, but this is a base mother, 36, 34, 31, 36. Okay, so she'll basically be our fifth base mother. So we'll keep her. Um, oh, and she's already ready to hatch. Look at that. Okay. Oh, we got twins. Okay. So you're um, mother base five. Uh, we're going to actually call you 5A, just so I know that you and 5B were twins. Not that that really matters a whole lot, because you all have the good stats. Yeah, we, we definitely need to start clearing out some of our original dinos, because we're going to get crowded here really quick. <laughs> Let's pull one of you over this way a little bit. So we'll just cryo all of them up, and then... Take them out to the field and have them start tearing shit up. And then I'll have to figure out where I'm going to actually keep them when we get back because uh, we're not we're just not going to have room for them all in here. Okay, what's next? Uh, you're ready to hatch. We got twin mothers. Goodness gracious. Oh, no, wait. You're a male. No, nah, never mind. These were our soldiers. Okay, I'm freaking confused here. <laughs> okay. Uh, change name. Soldier 1. And you'll be Soldier 2. Okay, so you're the, uh, you're just another soldier, Rex. Because you guys were just twins. Right, okay. It's hard to keep track of this shit, man. Once you start breeding, and it turn, can turn into a, a confusing mess. Okay, anyway, back to the Therizinos. So you are a female. You have one mutation. Wait a minute. Quetzal, yeah. Okay, so you have a mutation. It's um, 36, 34, 31. Yeah, okay, so whatever it's in, it's in it's in something not um, that we don't want. And because of that, since it's in a stat that we don't want, we don't want to keep her. Because she's just going to apply mutation points for stats that aren't we're not benefiting from. Okay, let's try the next one. That's a male, 36, 34, 31, 36. Okay, so we'll keep him as a soldier. Okay, no mutations, so that'll be a soldier, Thera. That's a female, so she'll be a mother, Therizino. No mutations. 
No mutations here, so she'll be a mother. There's a male with no mutations, so he'll be a soldier. We're running out of room in our incubator here. A male with no mutations. I can always make another one of these, too. And a female with a mutation. Okay, what is it in? 36, 34, 31, 36. Okay, it's in a stat we don't care about, so we're going to have to get rid of her. No mutations on that male. And this one, these two here are ready to hatch. So that's slot two. And this is just a soldier. Okay, and then you are also ready to... Uh, oh, all of you are ready to hatch. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to leave them in there for now because we're going <laughs> to... We're going to run out of room. And I have to keep the, the dinos within the range of the nanny, too. So that's another thing. And her range only goes out to the end of this little dome here. So I think we're going to keep the rest of these in here for now until we have room uh, for some more. Let's throw this last one in, though, and take a look at it. It is a male with a mutation. 36, 34, 31, 36. Yeah, but it's a mutation in something we don't care about. So was, what slot is that? That's slot two. Okay. So this one. Okay, yeah, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna leave the rest of those in there for now. Um, because we're just gonna run out of space. Alright, so now. Let's go ahead and pull you guys away from here. Get you out of the breeding staging area and into the army staging area. I need to make saddles for all these guys too, and I'm just gonna make basic saddles. I don't I don't think I have enough resources to make something real high end. Uh, by the way, this is just a backup base father. Oh, wait, are you? No, you're not. I wouldn't have named you Father One, so you just come with me, too. Unless I... Oh, I did grab the backup base father. Okay. I was going to say, I thought I had one. I actually like the colors of this one. This one had a, a mutation, but I don't think it was in um, a stat we want. Yeah, this is the backup base father here. He won't be for long, though, once the this mutated one matures. But until that does happen, uh, I am going to keep a backup base father. And then everybody else over here, um, including you, I'm just going to I'm just going to put you in the mix too. Uh, we're going to take out and start leveling up. And, again, like I said, we're, we want to make sure they all have basic saddles just because, you know, it gives them armor and it allows us to ride them, of course. So, let's see. We need one, two, three, four, four Therizina saddles. The other thing I need to do is I need to make some more cryopods. Okay, let's get a saddle on you and kind of move you out of the way for a second. We'll get a saddle on you. You know, if I was going to keep one of these as a utility dino, it should be this one because the colors are really cool. But we'll take them out too. I mean, the chances of them dying are pretty pretty slim. It's always possible. In fact, I know where a, an Alpha Rex is that we could, we could go attack and probably will. All right, so now I want everybody, I want every Therizino that we have to have a minimum of 20,000 health, and then everything else is going to go into melee. 
Okay, good. So you're set to 20,000. Um, man, you got a lot of points. 24. That gave us like 2,000. Okay, so if we do this five more times, one, two, three, four, five. Does that get us to 20,000? Yes, it does. Okay. Don't care about stamina weight or any of the rest of that stuff. The only other thing that matters for these guys, because this, this is our army now, is melee damage. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Should get you to 20. There we go. And melee, baby. 1,200 melee. These guys are going to be pretty stout, man. I'll tell you what. You're already at 21,000. 1,500 melee for you. And these, you know, these these are just the start of our breeding program. These aren't even the real good ones, so don't tell them I said that, though. All right, so if we're going to keep you as kind of our utility, Thera, because you got the cool colors, we're going to call you... What are we going to call you? We're going to call you Ted. Why? I have no idea except for that Ted starts with T and so does Therizino. So Ted is your name. How about Teddy? We'll call you Teddy. Okay, so Teddy, um, he's got, oh, it's okay. He already has the health and the melee. So probably for him, I'll probably just put the rest of his points into weight because, you know, if we're going to use him for harvesting, you know, he need, needs to carry stuff. So he doesn't need any more health or melee damage. So all the rest of Teddy's points will go into weight, whereas everybody else's points will go into melee. Uh, okay, so that takes care of the Theras, and I'm just going to, like I said, I have to make some crowd pots for them. Now, for the Rexes, I think we'll probably do the same thing where we'll make 20,000 their um baseline health and if it becomes apparent to me later on that they're getting killed too easily you know then we can adjust that okay so yeah we'll get them to the 20,000 and then everything else that goes into melee okay so you have 11,000 so one two three four you should get your health up Oh, I guess I gave him gave him too many, but that's right. And that gets you up to eleven hundred melee. One, two, three, four. Five. There we go. And then got lots of points. So this was like our second generation Rex after... Look at that 2,000 melee damage. Oh my goodness. Again, guys, these aren't even the good ones either. But she was our second generation because she's... I named her Mother One. But already, good lord, that's tough. I, I might be... You know, I might be... They might need more health, though. I, I won't I won't know until we start you oh shit until we start using them and can kind of get a feel but I figure twenty thousand is a good starting point anyway let's give you four health points yeah that was too many but that's all right and then the rest of the melee One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see where that gets him. That gets him right at 20,000. Okay, and then the rest of the mail. Okay. So that's, this is our initial army, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we do need to make some Rex saddles for these Rexes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, it looks like. So let's go make five Rex saddles. 
I don't have any. You know what? I didn't look in here for Therizino blueprints. Do I have any? No, those are Megatherium. Okay. Uh, what about Rex blueprints? Yeah, we got this, but this is this sucker is expensive, man. So, you know, we would make these for our super in-game high-end army. Uh, it's nice that we have the blueprint, but that's just too damned expensive. All right, so that means we're going to just make normal Rex saddles, too, and we're going to have to learn the Ingram. For that. And we need five of them. All right, let's saddle these guys up. Guys and gals, I should say. Whoa. That gets everybody a saddle. Okay, so we have a total of 10 critters that we need to take with us. Um, I definitely do not have 10 spare cryopods. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go make some more cryopods. Um, and I'm going to actually leave those guys uncryoed for now so they can try and get their health topped off. Uh, so I will bring you guys back when I have all these guys cryoed up, and then we're going to fly over to um, where that Alpha Rex is and have some fun with them and get them some levels. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, here we are at the location uh, with the Alpha Rex. This Rex is a not registering Rex. I don't think it's super high. Let's get a little bit closer here. Hmm. All right. Oh, there we go. It just popped up for a second there. Uh, come on. Hold still, damn it. Damn it, Jim. Tw uh, 20, I think it said. Yeah, 20. Okay, so fairly low level, but we st uh, still should get some... Some good levels on our critters going after her. Um, there is also a rune over there, too, that we should try and hit, at least for me, because um, I'm, I'm going to stay... Well, actually, no. We should probably pop off of the RG and get on one of the dinos ourselves, because that way we can... get some levels, you know, on on the Rex that we're going to use. So, let's make this our staging area. What level is that Rex? That Rex is only level 15, so let's kill it. I need a, a peaceful location to get these guys out and ready to go. So we can't have a bunch of enemies around. Have micro raptors now. I don't know, maybe we can't pick micro raptors up, I don't remember. I wonder if I can um I missed him. I wonder if I can There's a berry right there. What level is it? Level 20, yeah. Pop out the cryopods while I'm still mounted on the bird. I don't know. Let's just try it. I don't think this it'll work, but... I want the Rex... We have a Rex that has... Oh. Is your health not all the way back up? That seems to be indicating that. I thought... Uh, yeah, no, it's not going to let me launch them. 
Okay, the Microraptors are a little further over that way, so hopefully they won't harass us. Yeah, your health is not all the way back up. Son of a bitch. I thought the they had, it had gone all the way up before I cryoed them. Because what I did is I went and made the cryopods, and then I came back, and then I had to AFK for a bit. Okay, well, let's get them all launched anyway. I mean, I don't think we're going to have any trouble at all with an, uh, with the, all of these guys and just a uh, level 20 alpha rex. So let's get them launched. Okay, so everybody's launched here. Uh, I have a level myself too, which is great. I've been waiting for this one because... Um, where do we want to put this in? Let's put it in Fortitude. Um, because I can now make the shocking darts. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so, so cool. We are now able to use shocking darts which is going to help tremendously because i think they're two and a half times more potent than the normal darts two and a half three and a half something like that uh more potent than the normal darts put it that way exactly how much i'm not sure but okay so you're not fully healed you're not fully healed yeah i, I obviously <laughs> okay what i might do then is I mean, I, I don't know. If I if I'm gonna be smart, I'd take these guys around and have them kill some normal dinos, get some meat, so I can heal them up a little bit. That's just gonna take so damn long, though. I seriously doubt, though, that they can't handle. Um. Oh, fucking Microraptor. That they couldn't handle that Alpha Twenty even right now. I mean. I would be just floored if we lost one. But let's um let's do that. Let let's just go around a bit and where where's my RG? And have them kill some normal dinos and you know try and get a little bit of their health back first before we take on the alpha. Okay, so everybody follow me. This is just so much easier to direct from the air. And start killing stuff. Rex, uh, now we got some Brontos. Where is the Rex at? It's still hanging over out over by the waterfall. Okay, let's bring everybody over here and we'll kill these other dinos first. And I, I think we're gonna I think we're just gonna take on the Rex. We're we're not gonna have any trouble. And keep in mind too, this is not our main army anyways. So even if we did lose a couple of them, it wouldn't be that big a deal. It's just very unlikely. Okay, everybody come over there. I don't want you to engage with the Alpha Rex yet because I'm going to actually... What are they doing? Oh, they're fighting the trike. Okay. I'm going to actually ride our best Rex and see if we can get that rune before we, we actually engage or at least before it's dead so we can get the advantage of the points. Okay. You know what, too? Let's bring everybody back over this way just a little bit. Okay. Let's land you. That Rex is awfully close. Um, I want to jump on... We had one Rex that had, like, just a crazy amount of... Melee. I don't remember which one it was. It wasn't this one. Okay, well let's pump melee damage on everybody. Because everybody's health is already at the point that I want it to be at. 
It's you. Mother, mother, okay, yeah, this is the one I actually want to ride, so. I don't know if I can get her out of this mess or not. Oh, well, okay. It's on. I was afraid that was going to happen. We just got too... We were just too close. But, yeah, I mean, that, that was such an easy kill. Okay, well... Ugh, excuse me. It's too bad we couldn't have gotten that rune first, but it is what it is. And you didn't even get any points anyways, but you did get the, the stuff. I just kind of got into a bit of a cluster with all these guys. Here, let's everybody get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's such a mess. These damn Ford Fjord Hawks are such a pain in the ass. Oh, that dino there is getting at by some piranha. I don't know why she wasn't attacking. I put her on neutral. Okay, well, I'll tell you what then. Let's um let's have everybody follow me. And I'm gonna go grab this rune and then we'll just keep going around and killing more critters. Okay, everybody stay put for a minute so you don't pin me down in here. There we go. That part about not pinning me down? Oh, come on, game. Seriously? I told them to stay put. Some of them stayed put. Okay, let's get on Grayla. <laughs> this is a cluster. That's the way it goes, though. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue leveling these guys up. We're just going to kill everything in sight and um you know keep pumping their melee points and then fairly soon here we'll you know we'll add a few more dinos to the army and then i think what we'll do excuse me is we'll take the b boss on as our first boss um my understanding is that the b boss is one of the easier ones so of course it would make sense to start with the b boss and uh, we'll go from there so guys thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.